Hello, I'm Brian with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and I'm going to demonstrate how to collimate your SkyQuest X-T8 Dobsonian. The steps I'm going to show you will also apply to all other Orion Dobsonians, as well as all other Newtonian reflector optical tube assemblies. I'm going to show you how to do this using an optional laser collimator, the Orion LaserMate Deluxe, which is a very simple and popular tool to use when performing collimation on your reflector telescope. When collimating your reflector with the LaserMate collimator, there are two key adjustments to make. Align the secondary mirror towards the front of the telescope. You want to align the tilt of the secondary. And you also want to align the tilt of the primary towards the back. Remember this order. Always align the tilt of the secondary mirror first, then proceed to align the primary mirror. Start by removing the dust caps from your optical tube. And when you make your adjustments, Keep your telescope pointing horizontally. Don't point it vertical because you can chance dropping something down into the telescope onto your primary mirror, which you don't want. So keep it horizontal. Now, install the LaserMate Deluxe Collimator with the target viewer facing towards the back of the telescope or towards the primary. So go ahead and insert laser collimator. Now, as with any laser product, use caution and, and don't point it at anyone. Start before you actually turn the laser collimator on. Point your telescope at a white wall. Then turn on the laser collimator and just check to see that you don't have a red dot pointing at the wall. So right now the red dot is not pointing at the wall, so I know that my collimation isn't so far off that the beam is actually exiting the telescope. Though well, that means it's safe for me to actually look into the optical tube to start the collimation process. Now, if it turns out the beam is hitting the wall, that's okay. Just use caution before putting your eyes in front of the optical path of the telescope. We start by aligning the secondary mirror. The only tool necessary for this is a 2mm Allen wrench or hex key. Look into the optical tube with the laser on. You'll see the dot where the laser strikes the mirror. You will also see the center mark of the primary mirror. All Orion reflectors feature the center mark, which is a very useful reference to show you exactly where the center of the primary mirror is. The goal is to make the adjustment to the three socket head screws with your 2mm Allen wrench until the dot on the primary mirror aligns with the center mark. And that's all you need to do. It's actually very easy with the laser. Make sure that tension is applied to all three socket head screws when you're completed with the secondary alignment, just to make sure that the mirror does not move out of place later. The mirror is very light, and there isn't much adjustment needed after you initially get your secondary aligned. Now that we've aligned the secondary mirror, it's time to align the primary mirror. And this is where it's very convenient to have the LaserMate Deluxe Collimator because we have the target viewer which allows us to view the alignment of the primary while accessing the cell in the back of the telescope. You don't have to walk back and forth from the primary mirror cell to the focuser, so it's a great added convenience. So to make the adjustment, we need to access the primary mirror cell. You'll see that there is a series of six screws. There are three collimation locking screws and three collimation adjustment screws. Start by loosening the three collimation locking screws about a turn or so, just to give us enough room to make the adjustment. Then, while looking at the target viewer of the LaserMate Deluxe Collimator, make slight adjustments to the three collimation adjustment screws, and you want to walk the beam into the center, or the dot into the center mark. What will happen when you get it aligned, it will appear to be like somewhat of an eclipse, like seen here. It'll actually mask itself in that center opening. Once you've done that, your primary mirror is actually lined. Now just lock the three collimation locking screws again, and make sure while doing so that you don't knock it out of alignment. You shouldn't have to tighten it down very much. And you're set. And it's very simple and very quick to do with the laser collimator.